and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are looking at an article in the Adventist Messenger that speaks about, that gives actually support to Dr. Vine and it, it seems like the Dr. Vine issue isn't going away and in the Adventist Messenger I'm seeing an article um, that is directed to the Seventh-day Adventist Church of Seventh-day Adventist Church Michigan Conference, right? And it is um, directed to Elder Meshef and the Michigan Conference leaders, right? And the letter reads as follows. We are members of the Loma Linda University Church and my husband Keith is a Meritus Professor of Medicine at Loma Linda University. He is also a former Vice President of the American Federation of Medical Research. With all due respect, we, deep, we are deeply concerned about the Michigan Conference move to ban censor Dr. Vine from speaking in our churches. Very interesting. We are both lifelong Taiping members of the Seventh-day Adventist Church and consider ourselves at the more conservative end. We were shocked at the official actions of the General Conference during COVID. And Keith, who is both a clinical rheumatologist, immunologist, and a research scientist, realized there were much amiss in the expert, in quotation marks, scientific community regarding the vaccines and lockdowns. Once you realize that, we were further shocked at a largely successful effort to silence dissenting voices of equally credentialed physicians and scientists, even within our own denomination. Dr. Vine stood out in our church as an almost singular voice opposing these lockdowns, especially for churches and of the heavy-handed government vaccine mandates. We can't tell you what comfort and in encouragement it provided us that at least one individual in our church had the courage to speak against this and to take the general conference to task for its support of this near incomprehensible loss of liberty and then as now to call it public accountability. Dr. Vine is not dividing the church. In case most administrators haven't noticed the church was already divided and has been for some time. He has merely lanced a very large boil. As a good doctor knows, boils cannot heal until they are lanced. But to mix metaphors, talk about shooting the messenger. Incidentally, we have not heard Dr. Vine say to divert tithes away from the church. He is not saying to do, the, to do anything differently regarding one's tithes or attendance at this time. He is merely providing a possible pathway for the future and doesn't turn its back on the church, but register its strong dissent and the need to stand truth and faithful in face of intolerable error or apostasy, if and when should occur, arguably again. For you to know cancer, Dr. Vine, strike many of us as collusion with the forces in society that aim to abolish our religious and free speech liberties and allow only voices that concur with the anointed. It seems beyond ironic that this is talk taking place in the Seventh-day Adventist Church, which has traditionally been most concerned with liberty and with religious liberty in particular. A further irony is that the religious liberty weekend at the village church was, to all understanding, organized by Dr. Vine, whom you then proceeded to silence. It's almost more than these two devout Adventists can be. We simply cannot understand the lack of humanity that reflects the same apparent here in the actions and statements of your conference. Beyond appearing to address a straw man such as propitious move against an individual who is, by all evidence, a profoundly Christian and deeply committed Seventh-day Adventist servant of God, appears to us to violate the simplest precepts of Christian charity if not also wise leadership. We are praying for you to, to reconsider this move. Thanks for listening. Together in service, Keith and Janine Colburn.
so this is the letter from these two medical people um, Peter is an immunologist and so on so they are coming out in strong de defense of Dr. Vine and they wrote to the Michigan conference this strongly worded letter and and in turn in fact the the people in the conference are, are seeming not to be as Christian as they ought to be in terms of how they treated Dr. Vine and the way they banned him and censured him and the way they came down on him really really harshly for speaking up for each and all each and every one of us liberties all right um and as the letter pointed out um our liberty is one of the key components of our faith especially liberty to practice our religion and where are we going if one of our own speaks out on an issue and he's been stamped to the ground almost to, 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 to powder now we are seeing where persons are coming out in strong defense of dr vine's position what do you think about the situation tell me in the comment section and I'll, I'll 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 respond to you guys and let's have a conversation in the comment section all right these are very interesting times we have now to get closer to our god and savior because we are seeing a lot of strange things happening in and around us all right folks so please like share and subscribe like this video share this video and also comment on the in the comment section what do you think is what the doctor dr keith and his is is their wife is saying is it the correct thing uh, they are on the conservative side what side are you on are you conservative are you liberal like and subscribe remember the truth is the truth